What's up, guys? This is the Road Foreman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead Wall. Let's play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we have burst forward from Toronto to attack the Napoli capital. And the hope is that we can take the city sufficiently quickly that we can uh, destroy the faction and remove their serious naval forces uh, from the game. Because right now they are quite a danger to us. So let's get cracking on. The enemy has lots of mortars, so we're probably going to have to um, attack from as many different directions as possible to split their firepower. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to do just fine. We're probably going to want to focus our firepower on the infantry attempting to defend the walls rather than going after the mortars. Just to try and minimise the amount of time that we are delayed in going for the uh, central objective. Right, nice flat ground. Let's set up our guns. Um, well, our melee troops and a selection of line infantry. They're going to go forwards into the breach. Let's create one detachment that's going to come from one direction. Another detachment to come from another direction. Principally, the name of the game is going to be about securing gates to allow the cavalry to push in. Then our single unit of howitzers deploy in the centre of the buildings. Principally, they could in theory go for one of the units here. But we're better off just trying to thin out the enemy forces. Make a single breach and then storm in from as many different directions as possible. Um, in somewhere in the line they, there will be a gap and our cavalry can get in and start dismantling the artillery uh, the how it's the mortar batteries to the rear other than that let's let our artillery continue continue to do their glorious work once they make a breach um, a good chunk of these forces should redeploy off of the walls to try and defend it Especially when hopefully we can just we can destroy the wall um, with a serious number of these troops on board. That would be pretty nice. And as we've made our when we make our breach, we can retarget our quick line fire to focus on the troops trying to defend the wall. I mean, we're getting some reasonable kills here, but this is very much the the. Uh, the least efficient method. We should probably get a breach with the next broadside from our foot artillery and horse artillery. One more. Retarget the howitzers. Boom. Excellent. So now our howitzers can engage those targets. Just send as many people to scale the wall as quickly as possible. We can afford to minimize sending our cavalry in just yet. As soon as we send our forward assault elements in, the pikemen in particular are a Popular target. Good kills, holy moly. A couple of units hidden back here. But yeah, try and converge on them from as many directions as possible. Yep, they're starting to fire. Once my pikemen have made it past, we're going to just get our artillery to bombard the centre. But as soon as those pikes get within range, 
typically the AI um, hates pikemen. Yeah, they're getting pummeled. Start to send our Curacier in. Again, we're just trying to get on the wall to open the gate. We're not trying to capture it. This line infantry is going to stay back. My native auxiliary plus my pikemen are going to go into the breach to try and attack it. Other than that, we're going to select. We're going to... Um, Attempt to free up some walls. More for a lot of firepower. So my native melee auxiliary are going to do they can do quite well in here on dragoons they're in quite a good position run my horse guards and once these guys have got there actually to be honest you guys can probably do it instead But once we've secured the gate, our cavalry can push in. Their mortar fire is having a significantly detrimental effect on their own troops that cease fire our howitzers, oh, cease fire our foot artillery. Money men. Secure the gates. Let my dragoons in. I mean, these guys, the civ the, um, the armed citizenry, are going to be getting slaughtered. Come on, how is this gate not ours? Get these troops to run immediately off the wall. There we go. All of the gates are ours. We're starting to get some chugging melee combat going on, but it looks like it appears to have huh? thought it had resolved itself, but apparently not. terrible at getting your units through the wall, through the gates when you want them to come in. I've already lost 20 cavalry trying to get through a gate that I control. There we go. You men isolate and destroy that pair of units at the back. Excellent. Push them in. The enemy armed citizenry are bundled in. Trying to defend the breach, but they're attack being attacked on all sides. It's pretty good. Excellent. Losing decisively, those are words we like to see. Kill them. Kill them all. My armed citizenry, or my 
My American infantry mercenaries are wavering under the concentrated mortar fire. Excellent, get the cuirassier storm in and smash this unit. Take them out. So my infantry in the back are starting to get thinned out some, but they're putting up a valiant effort against the armed citizenry. All the while, <laughs> my troops sat at the back, just holding. Cavalry charge the armed citizenry. Infantry continue to engage the enemy. Excellent, we've killed their general, sir. Gunners are surrounded. Curacier are going to make short work of them. They keep on surrounding, keep on engaging. They're a very elite unit of armed citizenry, but not quite enough. Excellent. Push in. At some point, the force will break. Although, to be fair, we are not putting this unit under pressure. Send some troops in. Okay, get my cavalry to start the countdown. My dragoons show up. Re redirect my infantry, although a bunch of them appear to be stuck. There we go. Put some pressure into this armed citizenry unit. They're already shaken. Come on, you guys. There's two. There's one guy left in his, uh, with his artillery unit, and you've all got hatchets, you mad lads. Use them. He will not rout. He's gone. Well. Yeah, one unit made it. Although the units defending the wall have broken. Let's charge another cavalry unit into this armed citizenry unit. I wager it won't take them long to break. There's only two units remaining. Oh, my armed citizen. This, this uh, infantry mercenary unit is going to get smacked. Yep. The armed citizenry hold the centre. A cavalry force ride them down. Come and get him. You men just chill out. You've done your job. Oh, this unit's broken as well. Kill as many as you can. Although, the city has fallen. It is ours. Excellent. So the hope would be that we can secure this territory as fast as possible and push on to Rome. So there goes... The Napoli Navy. There's university to get rid of immediately. We've got a commercial base and we can upgrade. Let's get a galley. Let's just put this sloop in to protect it. Saves the recruit of a, recruitment of a galley. You men raid. Let's make this first trade ship of the line an admiral. It's one of our weaker fleets, but it'll do. Make sure you're being repaired. Let's hop back to India. So you're you're up to full strength. Let's just bring our navy around. Oh, bug! Disembark. 
And let's... What direction to advance? Maybe to the northwest. I mean, you're being, repl you're being replenished. Your troops are being... Um, <laughs> troops are being replenished. Everything's being repaired. Um, let's put this fleet up here to block off the Strait of Hormuz. Build a sloop to protect it. Upgrade Puri to have a trade port. Upgrade the Iron Master's works. Repair the cobbled roads. Awesome. Okay, the cavalry can go back inside. The militia unit can go over here. Excellent. Start mass recruiting another army. So up here in Europe, we're angling for a river battle here against the Austrians. I'm content to keep sieging those northern Italian um, territories. Let's maybe put the Genoese fleet under blockade. You men can position. Okay, let's recruit a general. Another general. Your job will be to recruit a force to attack Cagliari, and we can afford to take some time over this. Because we are not looking to create... We're not worried about attacking that territory as quickly as possible. And I'm deliberately recruiting 12 pounders, because having all 24 pounders is a bit boring. African mercenaries, plus the last unit of guerrillas. Cool. But here locally, we'll recruit three units of native African infantry, two units of African infantry guards. Cool. You're, you are going to be brought into the fold. I'm happy just to let these guys be attrited. I want to see a river battle. That's what I want to see. Than that, Paris. You make way. I'm going to bias more towards heavy cavalry in Europe. Because we do have a lot of enemy heavy cavalry units. Actually, let's get a unit of horse grenade guards. I don't use enough dragoons. Let's get a unit of Irish brigade. Cool, that's you. Starting there. This recruitment's ongoing. In Madrid, you're going to be fully recruited. That's going to be another army we can send to smash through. Awesome. Okay, it was good to get Naples. Once we get rid of the university, that will probably, or almost certainly, deal... Ooh, it might not, actually, because they aren't... The university was damaged anyway, and they were already angry. Potentially not. If you have to hold on to it while they rebel, that's okay. Uh, once you've repaired the Royal Palace, we'll start building some um, garrison troops. Let's dismantle this building. Ooh, actually, you. That's quite the... Quite the uh, short-sighted approach there with Valletta. Can you men get in? Oh, there we go. Never, never in doubt. The glorious uh, Dragoon Army. Okay, upgrade the mill. So our agents down here in England started to try and get rid of the religious unrest. Then they'll probably be shipped to Tangier, starting to try and chip away at some of that religious unrest. We're about to lose a lot of it because of our research of... Oh yeah, secular humanism. It's going to take 10 turns though, so... Yeah, nothing on the horizon. 
Apart from that, though, I want to see if we get the river battle. So let's hit and turn. All of our other troops in the Americas are now falling back to their um, other zones. Where they're going to be recruited. Well, they're going to have their armies grown um, and then shipped to India to support that offensive. Because what, what you want to happen is you put so much pressure on their front line, they have to withdraw troops that are defending some of their coastal cities. So they're going to start to capture some of their key territories uh, in the south and the west and just really break their financial, will break their economy and they won't be able to um, retain the armies in the field. Troops will begin to desert. Let's see if Austria gives us that river battle. Because yet yeah, technically Konigsberg is right for the taking. Um, we are raiding the port nearby. So we could... Send an army in. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Nelly. Okay. F uh, roughly 7,000 versus my 6,000-ish. Not as juicy as I might have liked, but let's make sure I'm bringing in more infantry. Um, they've got some artillery that it's worth being cautious of. We're going to need to use our foot artillery to continuously um, bombard that. But I think we can make a good show of it. Let's go for it. Hopefully they don't spawn in on our side of the river. That could cause complications. But yeah, we're going to deploy our howitzers to defend the ford. We're going to deploy our foot artillery to um, do counter battery work against their artillery. And then all should be right with the world. We may deploy some of our cavalry uh, loose in the other on the other breach to take advantage of any opportunities to sprint forward and destroy their artillery, potentially. Okay, so what have we got? Down in the way of our in the way of our board a bit. Okay, so we have bugged artillery. Pretty good. So you men just attack. Oh, it says deploy a little closer to the uh, crossing. They're going to stay on. Oh, it's a shot for now. Let's take three units of infantry to defend this breach. Leave a unit of QSCR to hold it with them. So now, here... Including my marines. Possibly a terrible idea. Ooh, not ideal. Some of their howitzers could climb the crossing. Well, now is not the time for run orders to be not listened to. One. Fire it will off. Get my gorillas over here. They are bombarding the bejesus out of me. So my artillery focus on their horse artillery. The cavalry's coming over. That in of itself in of itself isn't terrible. Ooh, carcass shot's a bit awkward. But we're all in position. That's quite a good hit. Form square. Those fusiliers are going to run for it immediately. We've hit the enemy general's bodyguard to our rear. Or they're trying to cross the... Uh, 
across the river. Our counter batteries killed one guy. That's it so far. Lots of cavalry pushing in. Lots of my infantry may stay in squares. Make my quick claiming how just focus on the reinforcements coming in. We've killed an enemy general. Okay, human got a square and just start opening fire. That may attract their attention. But the important thing is that we maintain our we maintain our fire against their artillery. You need to be a bit more oriented like so. Exceptional hits by our howitzers. Keep engaging their infantry that wants to cross the river. Light infantry, fire at will. Put a good blast into the light horse. Too bad about the sound. That would have been a nice volley. 110th being picked apart by their artillery. Not a lot we can do for that except withdraw our line. Bring these guerrillas over. Bring this reinforcing infantry unit forward at a run. Okay, quick climbing howitzers focus on the center again. You're gonna have to form square. Foot artillery is gonna need to engage the crossing, although the counter battery effort seems to be. We've got one gun, but not a huge amount to show for it. Those should be some good kills. We've lost a couple of square, a couple of squares. More hits with quick lime or with um, darker shot. I think they do need to keep attacking the artillery with my foot artillery. Quick climbing how it says, just keep attacking the crossing. Exceptional. Okay, let's with let's uh get our men back into the line. Okay, they're coming in again. Another round of quick line would be delicious. There it is. More. They're getting good hits, but not as many as we are. Excellent. So here is the reinforcements. We can let these guys follow, follow, fire off all the volleys they want to fire off. The marines can fall back. the artillery fire steady not decisive but I think we can make this work I am inclined to let them keep attacking my household cavalry enemy here under fire Keep in 
engaging. Enemy reinforcements coming in from the right-hand side. Interesting. We have to stay here. They're getting consistent hits against our infantry, but we have to hold off, especially while their reinforcements are still coming in from the left-hand side. We did get these guys to be winded for a split second. Okay, let's retarget the howitzers. Could run one of you guys across, really. Lure in the provincial cav. Right now, the troops we've got on the crossing are just getting barbecued by carcass shot. But I can't help but feel they're getting the the worst deal. More hits. Drop into line. Drop into square, rather. Let's get my carcass, get my um, household cavalry over here to go after their artillery. The heavy cavalry is shaken, or the heavy artillery is shaken. Four more squares, because you've got more heavy cavalry coming in. They may break us, but we've got plenty of firepower. Those marines could do worse than pull back. You guys charge in. Why are you not charging in? The troops you've got over here are now, un un are now under attack. My foot artillery here are really letting the side down. Form up again. Okay, let's start to fire my quick line against there. Ooh, where did you come from? I will lose my cavalry trying to take out the these artillery units, but I'm, it's a risk. I'm, a risk I am willing to take. Run the cavalry up. Run the infantry up, rather. Try run past these fusiliers. I mean, I will lose them. But if I can knock out the... Knock out some enemy... Artillery. Will be worthwhile. We're being hit by grapnel shot, so these units are probably going to have to withdraw. Excellent. You men engage that unit. You men engage this unit to run these two units up to defend this sector withdraw our cuirassier keep defend keep um <laughs> defending against the these troops that are trying to cut across here
Let me get my carabiner over here to defend this crossing. Well, actually, they're, they're sending their um, artillery across. And some cavalry, too. Okay, once we clear out the left hand side run my Irish brigade over to the right flank you then could put a volley into the provincial cav that's excellent put artillery you don't necessarily need more of it but I'll take it Human format. Put a unit of line infantry into the into the line. Okay, now you men format to engage the line. You men bombard this specific howitzer unit. Actually, to be honest, this howitzer unit, we don't really need you. Okay, let's detach this unit over here. You men get out of here. Nearly broken the provincial cav. There they go. They're broken. Push forward the carabiner. You men are going to be in a position to cross this side of the river soon. And it'll be all hands to the pumps on this side. Although they appear not really to want to cross. Although they are being engaged. That's right, you go away. We have no need for artillery. Beat them back, cross the river, take out the artillery and push up the riverbank from this side. Give them a real conundrum. So you're now being hit by this horse artillery unit. To be honest, you may have to keep... Actually, no, I may as well get my artillery to engage their centre. Okay, the Landwehr militia are looking like they want to cross, so let's annihilate them. That's quite a juicy target. Oh, it's on the move are always good to hit. If we manage to hit any part of this model, the... Uh, the carriage and the uh, gun are destroyed, so that's why it's particularly useful. There we go, killed one. They're broken. Get our big team to keep engaging the 15th. Ceasefire. Mm. 
mercenaries. Should they go over here as well? Okay, there they go. So this detachment, all of it, cross the river. Put artillery, engage their enemy infantry. Quick climbing artillery, also engage their infantry. You might not be able to reach, but we switched to round shot. But this infantry, yeah, cross the bridge in support with the general uh, backing you up. Okay, cavalry push across. So you're only Wimbush Jaeger. You're very good skirmishers, but you are skirmishers nonetheless. Then after the carabiner, my infantry storm across in force. My cavalry go first in an attempt to clear the way, but they appear to be indecisive at best. Let's run past the enemy artillery. Fusiliers have placed stakes in the wrong direction. There goes the enemy artillery. Infantry advance. Okay, detach some troops. I think you have to order them to bayonet charge until they're completely off the bridge. Until then, they won't actually leave. Focus our artillery fire on their solid infantry corps. Form up our line first. Excellent. Okay, they're rapidly moving away from our push on the right flank. Only a small unit of Hungarian fusilier stands against us. Fusilier is going to be under fire, both from artillery and from our line infantry. These Hungarian fusiliers may be a bit sturdier than normal fusiliers in melee combat, but they will still die the same. These guerrillas have no ammunition, so they may they're gonna be here just to attract musket fire. There we go, fusiliers are broken. All the jaws are snapping shut. Exceptional shot, sir. You men are going to stay where you are and just keep killing fusiliers. You men can advance a bit. Oh, the 112th are going to get punished. Their officers fired his pistol. Trading musketry at point blank range. It's the Austrians that can't handle it. How's your pistol shot now, sonny boy? Excellent. A much bloodier affair than I would have liked, but you know what? Take what you can get.
reasonable exchange ratio. It's enough to send them scurrying back with their tail between their legs. I'll wager they'll not try it again, not in a hurry, although we do need to get replenishing and get on the offensive with some of our other armies elsewhere. Okay, looks like uh, reinforcements are on their way to some of the other Austrian armies. The force in Rome is holding. They're consolidating their defence. Which is their prerogative. Barretts. An army to the south that is raiding. Opportunity to intercept. Um, I don't know where your reinforcing army is. I'm inclined to actually see what you do. If we fight, it makes no difference. We've got this army to the south that's able to push the... Uh, destroy the Grand Columbian force to the south anyway, so we don't really mind about that. The Marathas are on the move. The end of the Ottomans will be um, upon them at some point, but just not for the time being. Swedish agent. Are they going to head our way to try and steal our precious bodily technologies? Maybe. Maybe they will. Otto Asubel. Well, I mean, I hope you enjoyed your raiding, because it, it, from our perspective, it left um, a line open for Strasbourg. We're not going to attack the city. We're going to see if we can lure them in. Fight their forces around Stuttgart to uh, ride to their aid. You're still replenishing. Okay, let's get some of you guys replenishing. A force to the south that wants to come in. Let's go for something like that. I run to just over here. Uh, I was hoping I could run to this side of them and then attack them. Um, no matter. They appear to believe they have the edge over, over us. I disagree. I very, very much disagree. But this is where we may... Why it's good that we've got that force in uh, Madrid that's growing. Uh, so that if these guys decide to run southwest and continue their raiding, we will be able to trap them and then squash them. But we do need to keep... Well, yeah, this is part of the problem about not maintaining a robust front line. It's very valuable. Okay. Heavy horse artillery is going to try and engage their heavy horse artillery. In fact, all of my foot artillery is. And we are going to force them. I mean, we've been intercepted. But we have the artillery advantage. So I don't think it's going to really... We're not going to be pressured into attacking them because we have plenty of really good artillery. So they can they can choose to not attack us if they wish, um, but it will hurt them more than it'll hurt me. Howitzers engage their line with quicklime. Killed one gun. Come on, Newman. You've got a very elite force. Let's see if you can stand the battering that you're going to get. The mercenaries have done a superb job already, um, as far as dying is concerned. Provincial cavalry is pushing in. You can, are you going to charge us or are you just going to run in? Yeah, 
Yeah, unsurprisingly, he didn't like that very much. Okay, two artillery pieces down. It looks like we can advance up our left flank quite handsomely. Push up our light cavalry sharpshooters. Another gun destroyed. Marines and foot guards. Okay, let's actually start to chip away at some of those chaps on the flank. You don't have much in the way of cavalry protecting your artillery, so we might go for it. Especially if those provincial... That provincial cav is your reserve. But it looks like they are actually abandoning their artillery. Whip our Lancer guards around the rear. Center's going well. Not necessarily the attack that we wanted, but it's the attack that we've got. Dipped our lances. Killed. Ooh. Killed a lot of their men. Okay, let's try pull our lances back. 12 pounder foot artillery unit is withdrawing. Push our heavy cavalry up. My light cavalry sharpshooter is going to be incredibly dangerous at close range. We've got accuracy 53. Only 80. Okay, actually, you, this heavy cavalry push out. Go after the horse grenadier guards. Infantry and grenadiers push up against their infantry. Come on, you men, reload. Also, you men, break. Okay, the provincial cavalry dead. Keep advancing. Run the light coat. Run my Lancer guards away. Not <laughs> too late. Excellent. Two units of line. You've returned. The Marines are shattered. Sharpshooters still loading and firing. Excellent. There we go. We've killed a Another handful of their cavalry units. Get my crossier pushing around the rear. Where's my general? Get him around here too. Apart from that though, the... Advance right up into the square formation's faces. Bombard, chase down the enemy general's bodyguard. Slaughter these fusiliers. Excellent, a lot of units breaking here. Can 
made my light cavalry sharpshooters. General's bodyguard, it looked like they're attempting to try and protect their fusiliers. However, I fear it is useless. Excellent, looks like the enemy has absolutely perished. Everybody switched to round shot. Fusiliers have returned from combat. Good to know. Send a detachment of troops over here. Placing stakes to defend themselves from cavalry. Smart decision. If the cavalry were interested in you at all. See, it's like, these are um, marines and foot guard. Or regular foot guard. If there is such a thing as a regular foot guard. General Slaughter, this enemy line infantry unit. Come on, kill both those units, then go after the foot guard. Then you can go after this heavy horse guard artillery unit. Four fusiliers left. Oh, three. Yeah, they're all here. Excellent. Then you'll go after your general's bodyguard. Oh, this is effectively a genocide. Go oh, man, you form up. General's bodyguard's going to... The general's going to go down. Make sure we try and kill him. There's plenty of troops running away very slowly. Excellent. Kill the general. Get over here. Okay, there goes the general... God damn right, we're going to continue. Kill them. Kill them all. Excellent. Oh yeah, the, the enemy can't make up their mind what direction they want to retreat. Mercenaries, militia, Hungarian fusiliers. Go for the special units. If there's no elite, go for whatever you think is coolest. That's why that militia unit's going to get away. Because I'm not bothered about killing militia. Okay, let's send these guys over here to shoot that gunner. Slaughter the remainder of these troops. Cool. Help this guy kill these militia. Nice. Help these guys kill these fusiliers. There we go. More cavalry, more better. Excellent. There's a horse guard artillery unit actually still alive. The general's thinning out these fusiliers because they can't work out what direction to retreat. Five of them left. 
the cavalry is about to mob the artillery on the map. Come over here specifically. Kill the last. Yes, he stopped to fight. What a fool. Okay, when it comes to this stuff, there's, him, there's a guy that ran through. Okay, it's moving out of the way. Attack ground. There we go. Now he's moving. So I think shenanigans afoot. Okay, there they go. We've got them unstuck. Decisive victory. Always a nice word. Any remaining? 212. Light cavalry sharpshooters. 416 kills, 90 deployed. Holy Jesus. Safe to say that force is gutted. Actually, I can dispatch. Can I get there? Yes, I can actually get there. Excellent. Kill the remainder of those fellows. Dispatch the remainder of the army back up to Eotimo Rivera or Riviera. Okay, construction. So you. Okay, is our agent embarked? No, they are not. You men embark to India. Let's repair the sloop. Let's re recruit a sloop, repair the port. Fleet arrives. So you're here to replace this fleet. You are a you were surplus to requirements, I remember you. Lots of good recruiting. Try a bit of coaching in to try and get the Napoli people to settle down. Well, I don't like our chances. Oh, they've already rebelled. They rioted and rebelled in a single turn. Interesting. Trait gained. See, this guy is a hero. <laughs> He's done done it very well. Okay, let's push up the front line somewhat. Hop over to India. Okay, let's let see if this army gets lured closer. But yeah, we are working on our garrison. Ostino Pizarro is in a good position. Let's push him up as well. Let's secure this bridge. Calcutta is going to start mass recruiting another army. The military production is as good as it can be. Let's keep spitting out troops and bringing war to the Marathas and keep an eye out for any opportunistic grabs. So we dealt with this. Taking Genoa. You're recruiting your force. Here at Tunis, ready for the inevitable attack. Create these buildings in Tripoli, because as soon as we leave, they're going to hate us, so we're going to probably want to eventually start recruiting loads of Dragoons to keep them um, on our side. At some point, we'll be at war with Hanover. 
Um, but this is quite enticing. Like I said, landing here at Memel, taking Konigsberg, and then just holding on to it. Might actually recruit. Oh no, I don't want horse artillery. Two turns. A lot of elite infantry will jump in, grab Konigsberg, and then attempt to defend it. But then in shorter time, let's recruit more line infantry to support the garrison. Okay, let's take the line infantry out of the city. Fidel Torres, let's start to recruit another army. So I got one heavy. How it is. How it is. There we go. Any more access to some cool elite infantry? Apparently not. Let's go for a unit of Grenadier Guards. Okay. Back in the Americas, you're on your way. You're still replenishing. As are you. You can actually go here and we can start to recruit forces from Mexico. Okay, so up here in general. Okay, let's recruit some. So let's recruit an army. Something like that. Can't recruit much in the way of elite infantry, but that's that's okay. Uh, you can grow into a just a just an army just to counter uh, any enemy landings. Other than that, I think we're in a print. You darn good spot. Oh yeah, we can also take Martinique. <laughs> we killed uh, Naples and they own that region. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.